Welcome to my second video. I promised in the first video I was going to talk about what and what causes alopecia areta. So in case you have not seen the first video, please, the link is just below. You could just click on it and watch it. I have another shocker for you. <laughs> okay, that will be for later. But first things first, what and what causes alopecia areta? Okay, I did my research, videos, websites, hospital sites, support groups. I checked and then it happened that alopecia areta is simply an immune system disorder that affects its it occurs when immune system just happens to attack itself and in this case your hair and it happens to eat off a part of it i'm sure one of you might have heard some you might have heard about vitiligo it's another autoimmune system disorder a part of the person's skin will be white it, maybe you normally know, you're a black person like myself you notice that a part maybe the face or the hand or any part of the person's body is white and it's just going to be that way so according to medical researchers there is no exact cause for alopecia areta presently or should i say basically most autoimmune system disorders there's no exact cause that you'll say yes this is what causes it exactly but various factors could affect persons depending on gene or individual differences and the likes yeah areta since it has to do with hair losing hair it could affect any part of your body some people it could be the eyebrow the eyelashes you could even just lose everything your eyebrows your eyelashes probably the hair on your body and you know some other places that there is hair on your body and i'm happy about myself i've checked and i've realized that it's just here that i'm having my own hair loss i've checked every other part of my body the ones you can see and the ones you can't see i've checked everything don't worry this is my only problem basically what and what causes alopecia areta the factors depending on individual differences one is the gene it has been discovered that some people over time in their lineage there is issue of baldness or maybe skin if, um, disorders like this so it happens that even if maybe your immediate family nobody has it, it might have happened to somebody years and generations generations over in your lineage the second one is what you eat, the kind of drinks you take, the kind of drugs probably used in treating a particular sickness that was disturbing you. And it's happened to have triggered a reaction in your body that would cause the hair loss. And also the number three reason is stress. It could be physical stress, it could be mental stress, it could be emotional stress. There are so many things that people pass through that could cause them have imbalance in their immune system which could lead to the hair loss so you should know that this thing doesn't just happen overnight it's not like you just scratched yourself somewhere and then you're seeing injury it must have been building up over time in your body system enough of that already so i see if i'm talking to so i said i have a shocker for you you might be wondering why i'm covering my hair probably while i'm still feeling down about my hair loss and all that okay well probably it's still disturbing me yeah i won't lie to you but it's not because of it six ago i went to see my dermatologist and after much questions and all he, he recommended some drugs and some treatment that i'm going i was going to over a period of time to actually put my immune system in order then start treating the hair and then so it happened that one of the dreamers was that he said i was going to he said i was going to shave my hair yes <laughs> shave my hair like shave everything okay yeah normal i'm on low cut and all but he said i had to shave everything and then let the whole treatment start working together and probably yeah <laughs> It was just very awkward. I was a local, I loved my local, but this was shavy and like as a typical Nigerian now, this one is pure mala. 
as in malam hair well i did it i have no option i want my hair to grow my hair to be as it used to be so i had to cut the whole thing for the past two weeks i've basically been indoors i don't go out i don't even want to run errands for anybody i don't even want to hang out with friends because i was really feeling terrible i was feeling ugly i was feeling i was just messed up i can't go downstairs without having to cover my hair i can't step out without making sure my ears gone everything like it's as it is now i cover everything no so someone even suspects something is wrong with my hair my usual hair <laughs> but as it is now i'm quite comfortable with it the hair is growing back the normal hair the patch is still there the rest of my hair is growing back and i'm taking the drugs and the whole treatment as recommended now i'm 100 percent sure that in no time my hair is going to grow back yay i'm quite positive <laughs> i'm going to share with you the day i cut my hair the process uh, it's so okay it's growing now so Ugly, right? Don't mind. I'm. I think I look better now. Thanks very much for this support so far. I really, really appreciate the comments people have been sending to me. The calls, everybody's like, "Wow, I didn't know this happened to you." I'm really, really grateful to you guys. Thanks, thanks, and thanks. I have prayed to my God, and God is the healer. I'm going to be well in no time. Thank you all, and please don't forget to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button down there, and follow me through this journey. Bye-bye.